Hi, this is Mike with the XTouch demo team. In today's video, I'm going to give you a walkthrough of our POS Cloud online reporting portal. POS Cloud is our online reporting dashboard that can be connected with the XTouch POS system to allow a merchant to access some basic reporting data when they're off-site and not in front of the system at their location. Once a merchant is set up with a live XTouch system, our tech support team will be able to set them up with a login to the poscloud.com website. And because the reporting portal is browser-based, merchants can access the reporting on any web-enabled device, including their cell phone. After a login is created, the merchant will simply need to navigate to poscloud.com, enter their username and password, and log in to view reporting data for their system. Once logged in, the first thing we'll see is our quick view dashboard. This is a great view for quick at a glance type numbers and is a great way to check in on things throughout the day. Across the top here, we'll see some key figures, including today's gross sales, today's transaction count, today's sales tax total, and today's tips. As we scroll down, we'll also see similar totals for yesterday, last week, last month, sales by day of the week, total sales by hour for today, uh, top selling categories, top selling items, uh, breakdown of sales by tender type, and gross profits for the day. The POS Cloud website does sync with the merchant's XTouch system in real time. As an example, if we pull up our demo unit here and ring through a sale with a couple of different items and tender payment on the sale, once we navigate back to our POS Cloud website, we can click on the XTouch logo in the top left and once it reloads, that will reflect the transaction we've just run along with any other transaction since our last refresh. Another nice feature of the reporting portal is we do have the ability to connect multiple XTouch locations to a single login for merchants that do have XTouch across a variety of stores. As you'll see here, we have a dropdown with multiple stores connected and this allows the merchant a quick switch option between uh, their different locations. Do keep in mind this doesn't necessarily provide location over location type reporting for like a franchise scenario, but is more of a quick switch single login uh, type feature that makes it more convenient for merchants with multiple locations. The other main section of the portal is our report section that gives access to three key reports that we'll see on the left hand side, including the business overview report, a payment transactions report, and a sales transactions report. We'll go ahead and start with the business overview. This is the same report that we would see on the Exit system and is a great overview report for owners. Once we click into the business overview report, you'll notice that it automatically filters to today's numbers, but we also have the option to select from a variety of custom date ranges, depending on the data we're interested in. I'll go ahead and filter down to last month as an example. Once the data loads, we'll see all of the same info we would see on the business overview report accessed on the XTouch station itself, including total sales, sales tax, sales by different categories, sales by order or dining type, sales by staff member, labor cost information, a breakdown of a variety of different payment types, along with a variety of other numbers that will be important to a business owner. If we continue on to the payment transactions report, we'll see that our last month date range filter remains in place. The payment transactions report shows us a list of completed transactions within the system, filtered by date range, showing our order ID number, and giving details on payment type, whether it was cash, credit, gift, check, or other. If we scroll down to the bottom right here, we'll see we have the ability to filter through additional pages of transactions, and we can also edit the number of items that we're seeing displayed at one time here. Finally, we have our sales transactions report, which is somewhat similar to the payment transactions report, but gives us a slightly different breakdown and details on the transactions that were completed. Similarly, you'll see we have all of our transactions listed by close date and time. We still have access to our order ID for each of those transactions, but instead of showing tender type details, we're going to see a breakdown of the different components that make up the sales total for each transaction. So we'll see our base sales amount 
any discounts that were applied, any sales tax that comes into play, any tips that were recorded, any fees that were applied to the transaction, and then we'll finally see our, our total for the transactions in question here. And that will conclude our walkthrough of the POS Cloud Reporting Portal. Keep in mind that the portal is meant to give owners easy access to some basic core numbers when they're away from their XTouch system. In addition to all of the reports available on the portal, we can also automate any report available in XTouch to be sent automatically via email on a regular basis for additional offsite reporting access. If you need any assistance getting set up with POS Cloud or anything else related to your XTouch POS system, please don't hesitate to reach out to our support team at 1-800-966-5520, option number three. Thank you.